I do want to bring in Roz Palti. His wife's father, Rami, was murdered, and her mother and brother, Hannah and Elad, were taken by Hamas. Roz joining us live to share more on his story here and their story. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here. You know, thanks for having me. What is your understanding of what happened to your wife's father, mother, and brother on that day? Well, from what we know is um, on that horrible Saturday morning, um, they, they started hearing um, missiles um, um, hitting the kibbutz near Oz where they live. Uh, they took shelter, um, shelter in their um, 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 home shelter. Um, this was unfortunately something that most uh, residents of, of these kibbutzes near Oz and, and other kibbutzes nearby and, and the towns also nearby um, are very used to. Um, and so on that particular morning, that wasn't something um, so different. But um, as, as time went by and they started um, hearing um, shooting outside um, and, and sirens telling them that something very, very different is going on. And um, we lost contact with um, Kalmit's parents um, quite quickly, actually. Uh, we communicated via text messages. Um, but with her brother, we did manage to get um, a little bit more information. And he told us that there are terrorists outside his home. Um, that he hides um, in his home shelter, trying to um, to, to keep the door closed. Um, and we we can um, we, we actually heard um, the the gunfire, the, the shooting outside. His last words were, um, you know, you have to be uh, strong. Um, you have to keep your um, resilience. Um, and that that is um, a recorded a recorded message that he had sent us. Um, and, 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 and these were the last words we, we heard from him. Um, in the few days after, we, we learned that um, the Hamas terrorists uh, broke into uh, Kamit's um, um, father and mother's house. Um, they killed Rami, a gentle and kind and loving human being, um, just shot him in his own house and had kidnapped um, Kamit's mom. Uh, Hannah, um, she's uh, she's pra she's a 77 year old uh, woman. Um, she barely walks, um, and we have seen footages of her being, you know, dragged and, and taken on a motorcycle. Um, horrific images, um, I must say. And um, in fact, we 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 have no word from what happened with Elad, um, but he is missing since that Saturday. And so practically with a lot, we, we really don't know what, what had happened. And we we believe he's in, in as hard as this sound. We, we hope that he's in fact um, um, has been taken hostage and still lives. Uh, but to be to be honest, we, we, we really don't know what, what happened to a lot. Um, yeah, so. Have you been in touch with the Israeli government. I know that I've spoken to families who are waiting to hear from their loved ones, some of which say that the Israeli government is providing as much information as they can, but it is fairly limited right now. And others yeah. are saying they haven't heard anything. Have you been in touch with the government about your family members? So this started happening in the last couple of days. Um, um, there was really no information. Um, and still, there's, uh, we're mostly in the dark. I mean, we don't know much. Um, and I think the government, the government also doesn't know much um, for obvious reason, I imagine, but also because of, there's a lot of internal chaos in, 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 in the Israeli government. Um, but that's, that's uh, the reason for that, I guess, is a, is a subject for something entirely different uh, uh, conversation. Why is it? But we so haven't. Yeah, we we haven't heard a lot. Uh, we haven't learned much from the Israeli government about what had, what happened and, and what's the situation with Hannah and Elad. At this point, we know that two Israeli hostages were released yesterday, and on Friday, two American hostages. But still, there are more than two hundred people that were taken hostage by Hamas back yeah. on October seventh. So, does that give you? 
any sort of hope? Does it does it give your family hope to know that some few of the hostages have been released? Well, yeah, of course. I mean, we're happy to hear about any human being uh, being brought out of this um, hell, out of this nightmare. Um, any soul that can be rescued, of course, um, is, you know, that's a miracle in itself. And so obviously, of course, yes. Um, and we're very, very much hopeful that um, um, all 200 and, and more, I believe there's, it's, it's way more than 212. Uh, the number um, of, of hostages that are there. Um, so so that's our biggest, biggest hope that um, in some miraculous way, um, they'll be able to uh, be set free. Why is it so important for you to get the word out here about your father-in-law and your wife's mother and, and brother? Well, I think that um, there's a lot of misinformation that goes on um, in in the world. I'm 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 not um, heavily engaged with uh, social media and all that, but uh, in the last few days, I've been um, reading and seeing uh, more and more. And there's um, something terrible that is happening uh, worldwide. It could be that this is just a small minority which is very loud and creates the impression as if um, uh, something else is happening. But even uh, for that remote, I mean, even if even if this is the case, then um, still it needs to be um, said um, very loud and very clear um, um, what had happened in that um, horrific, terrible, terrible Saturday, the acts and um, and and what had um, been going on there, the atrocities. Um, these were not um, acts of freedom fighters. Um, or anything like it. These were the acts of terrorists, of criminals, of animals. And this needs to be spread out. This truth has to be well known and well understood. And taking children, small children, babies, women, elderly, such as my wife's parents, taking these really innocent and innocent people um, into captivity, into, you know, taking them as hostages, um, it's, it's, it's just criminal acts. And we have to do everything that we can to bring them back and to put an end to all of this. Roz, thank you so much for taking the time to share your family story with us and, and talk about this. Uh, is there anything else that you want to add before I let you go? Um, no, just that um, we really need your help. And I think also the people in Gaza um, need your help to get free from Hamas and to exterminate this evilness. Roz, thank you so much. Our thoughts and our prayers are definitely with you and your family right now. We appreciate you taking the time to share your family's story. Thank you.